Hello. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is demonstrate how to extend the conversation that we made yesterday. So if you haven't done the basic dialogue tutorial, you might want to re-watch that because I'm not going to go over all the basics and there will be a lot of overlap. So we're going to start by finding what we've done yesterday in the previous tutorial, the basic dialogue tutorial, and it looks like this. So the very first thing we're going to want to do is get rid of this looping action because we no longer want this conversation to loop, we want it to go on to another thing. So I'll remove that action and create a new phase here. So I'm going to right click uh, new action and now I'm just going to select dialogue and this grey thing is going to show up. So I'll just OK all this and so what will happen here is you'll greet your NPC <clears throat> Sorry about that. You'll greet the NPC, uh, he will say whatever piece of dialogue is in here, and then we will go straight on to phase two. So no matter that'll be no matter what you've said here. So we can double click this and we can right click new and get him to say something. So I'll say now that's over, can you tell me what you think of my looks okay okay so now bang bang but perhaps you're thinking well these are awfully short what if I want to make them longer well it's much like the old uh, the, the old gex in that respect we double click on the one we want to have multiple responses for my name is said in 4494 and we just get a new underneath it but some people call me said 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 om said equals seden ignore some people call me seden and so we'll see if we've got these two things and okay and you just you see this line appears to demonstrate we've got multiple responses so now we're going if we want this to lead anywhere we're going to want to add so we're going to right click in this void out here new phase at end and I'm going to double click it and we're going to name it uh, question phase okay and it says it'll break but actually it runs fine in my tests and so now we're going to add some new a new action uh, some new player dialogue so we can get we're just going to hit OK to bring this menu up so he's just asked us what we think of his looks so we're going to be we're going to be nice we're going to be mean we're going to be neutral and we're going to ask him a question so we're going to put a prompt in so the player can see what uh, what will be said so it says you look great and the response text can be you look great okay okay and we're gonna have this uh, NPC response end the conversation so I wanna hit end running scene here and for response text we don't need a prompt we're gonna say thanks I'll see you later okay okay and for a negative response, we're going to say, you're pretty ugly, and response text, so this is what the player will actually say. This is the part really where it overlaps with the uh, other tutorial, so it's quite simple you know, if you've understood the last stuff. And then we're going to create a response text, that was pretty harsh. Get out of here. Okay, okay. A neutral response. Something like, you look alright. My cat is not really that bothered. And then, you look alright. And then, okay. Thanks. I guess. See you later. And now we're going to say something marginally different here because we're going to have the player ask a question. How would you rate your looks from 1 to 10? How would you rate your looks from 1 to 10? I forgot to put a question mark in my prompt, so I'll do it there. And so now we're going to have the NPC uh, reply here. Um, 
I'd say I'm about a seven. Now, tell me what you think. And we're going to want this to loop back instead of ending, so we're going to go to scene, set in scene 01. And, oh lovely, the phase hasn't shown up again. It means we're going to have to OK out of everything. If the phase isn't showing up, OK out of everything. And go back to action 4. I'd say I'm about a 7. Now we can choose question phase. OK. OK. I did forget to add an end condition to this one, so I'm just going to dive in for a second and do it. OK. So that is how we've get, got a nice long conversation. And, you know, it doesn't loop. It has, has a definitive ending, and except for this one, which loops. And we've also got a longer, uh, a few longer responses over here. But what happens if we want to... Uh, there's a Facebook sound there, but I will take that out of the audio because people will probably get annoyed by it. Um, we've, what happens if we want to have some random responses? So we're going to need to change this up a little bit. It's, it's much the same as, uh, as we have in in old in old gex basically but we can either try and work it all in this tiny little uh tiny little window here or we can create a uh, a response group so the fact i've already got a response in here makes it a little bit annoying um but i can right click and make info group here oh, i don't think it's gonna let me do it in this no. Okay, we'll just do it the traditional way then, instead of because I've already I've already started. So first of all, we'll do a random condition on this. Then we'll put a something slightly different. I'm good. Thanks. Okay, and random, and then get to see if I can get it because this is just too small. This window is just too small. I've been better. And this is the last one in the list, so we're going to signal that with random end. I mean, it's not completely necessary when you've got just a list of entirely random responses, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, so now we can see we've got three, three thingies have shown up here. So that is how that um, that is how that works. You know, it's a short and simple tutorial. I will dive into the game now and demonstrate this in action. Remember always to save my plugins. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, before I go into the game, actually, I remembered a slight thing I did forget to do. These random ones, I forgot to make them loop back so you can save them multiple times. So it's simple, just start scene at phase uh, 7, phase 01 for all three of the random responses. So that will mean no matter which one of these he says, we end up back at said in phase 01, so you can ask them again, or carry on to any of the other ones, which will either end the conversation if you tell them to fuck off, or fuck you, or give a name and then go on to now that's out of the way, or ask for where am I, just any of that stuff. So now I'm going to go into the game and demonstrate that working. Okay, so now we're back, I'm going to approach the NPC. Now we have to speak to him. <coughs> Hello, I'm an NPC. Uh, let's see... How are you today? Which is the random set of responses. I'm alright, thanks. How are you today? I'm alright, thanks. He said the same one again. How are you today? I've been better. Ooh, I was worried it wasn't working then. So we've demonstrated that. So let's say, uh, well, let's say fuck you so we can just see the conversation ending. Yeah, fuck you too. Oh, there's a fight going Excuse on. Me. I hope this doesn't interrupt our conversation. Oh, I'm an NPC. What is your name? My name is Seddon4494. But some people call me Seddon. Now that's over. Can you tell me what you think of my looks? How would you rate your looks from 1 to 10? I'd say I'm about a 7. He's very generous to himself, saying he's a 7. Now tell me what you think. This is my moment of truth. Will this work? Yay. Um, yeah, he's pretty ugly, so let's be honest with him. You're pretty ugly. That was a bit harsh. Get out of here. 
everything worked first time. It's always great when that happens. So that was uh, demonstrating a slightly longer conversation, got some random responses. Uh, in the future I'll probably do you know, a conversation with uh, perhaps including a second NPC who can chip in and give his opinion on his looks. And I'll also do a, a, a more branching conversation because this one was very linear, like the um, that extra piece of now that's out of the way was kind of intended to draw everything in regardless of what responses you'd give. But uh, you can also set up so that um, a response will trigger a whole new scene entirely because whereas we kept with Seden Scene 01, next, maybe in a future tutorial I'll introduce a Seden Scene 02. And then uh, after that, once I've dealt with all the dialogue, I can move on to some scripting stuff. And then once we've got some scripting done, uh, we can set up a companion, which is what I've got, had quite a few requests for. So hopefully that was useful. It's, uh, you know, it's got, peop got people a little bit more familiar with dialogue now that I've been uh, messing around with that a little bit. Um, thank you for watching and goodbye.